Hello my gorgeous makeup loving friends, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, hi, my name is Teresa. Look, not only am I late to the party, the party finished fucking months ago, but here I am. Look, there was a sale on uh, Made by Mitchell and I figured, oh, I'll take advantage. <sighs> Silly me, it took forever for it to arrive. There was a whole thing with customer services. I talk about that in the video, but I did get some things from them. I got the Gut Milk Palette, which looks like this. Right. I'm not doing my usual swatches because honestly everyone has seen this before so there's no point. Um, I also got five of the incliners. I thought I would get the white one as well but apparently I mustn't have ordered that or it wasn't part of the bundle, who knows. Didn't really need it anyway so who cares. I got the bronzer in the shade hollow there and I got a liquid blush hate that name, in the shade Posy Rosy. Um, I think that was one of the newer ones. If not, then I may have like bought a duplicate, who knows. Anyways, this whole video is a review. I'll be talking about my kind of eh experience with uh, Made by Mitchell. I'll be kind of chatting about what I think of this and doing this eye look. So if you're interested in that and an overall review, then that's fantastic. This is the video for you to please keep on watching. Come with us now on a journey through time and space. No, not to the world of the mighty bush, but I am essentially, in YouTube terms, going through an old palette. It's the Mitchell Milk Palette. So let's just get straight on into it. I'm using the Jessup 223 Eye Blender and I'm going into Daisy. This yellow, mm, I've definitely tried better. Weirdly, the, um, the latest Soap palette, look, look at that, it's quite patchy. Uh, the Soap palette from Revolution comes to mind as, strangely, being better. I've had quite a few issues with Made by Mitchell. I bought a lot of their stuff in the Black Friday sale, so the 25th of November, and they said that they shipped it. I never got any tracking. And when they sent me on the report, it looked like it had, hadn't even got to the dispatch centre. So eventually they sent this stuff out, but they didn't give the full order because some of the stuff was missing. And I said, well, you're going to send them out to me eventually when they come back in stock. Um, haven't heard anything on that yet. And I hope, hope they do eventually send it. Um, but it didn't arrive until the 23rd of December almost a month later and I had to really track them up on that. It was really bad. I am using the 223 again. It's a different brush. It's the Jessup by the way and I'm going into Sugar Puff and just popping that there. So the warm shades perform relatively okay in this palette but you'll see um, that the cool tones absolutely oh I'm using the BH Cosmetics brush and I am taking it dry to just kind of work between the two. These do blend pretty well. Their customer service are really incredibly poor. Like I don't really have faith that I'll get the other two palettes which I had ordered as a gift. I got the feet on the ground and the head in the clouds for my cousin Therese because she loves makeup and I was like she's like such a sweetheart and she deserves something nice and I was like hey she's like a 20 something year old and she's into all this sort of thing so she'll appreciate that. I'm afraid I won't get that. <laughs> I think that they'll just forget about it and I won't see the rest of my money. I'm taking this Morphe M506 and I'm going into the shade Jessie's Girl and that just makes me think of the film 13 going on 30 and you know them singing the Jessie's Girl song which I do love by the way. Now the pigment on this is pretty good. I am just taking this Sigma E36 and I'm just attempting to blend it backwards and forwards like this. I'm taking this Spectrum B11 and I'm going into the shade Lactose which is this pink. Yeah, I should have like gone with my first instinct and just like, I didn't buy it on release. I shouldn't have bought it. <laughs> oh well, I was like, look, in for a penny, in for a pound, you're getting a few things. Get this while you're at it. I am now using a Morphe M562. It is love, it is life. I need more if anyone wants to send me some. I will give you my eternal love. I'm going into other one. I like that now. No. But I will say 
this has very good pigment. Like, look at that for like a pastel -y pink. That isn't bad. I have to say, I was pretty, um, pretty impressed with that. This is where it all kind of goes a bit weird. I'm taking this same brush again. It's gone through the color switch, and I'm just gonna, just gonna go madly back and forward, like, you know. I don't know, like the current government and their, their restrictions and not restrictions, but also restrictions. Very confused about all of that. I'm going back in with the Morphe M506. I'm going into that red and just kind of bringing it over. I'm taking the Morphe M506 or M562 rather, and I am going into the shade. Oh God, why have they named these this? Licky Licky. Ugh. But I'm just gonna pop that in there to just kind of well, you know what? Don't have to effing explain everything. You can see what it does. Well done. You're using your eyes. I'm so proud of you. Using the same brush again. It's gone through the color switch, and I'm going into intolerant. I really, I really don't know how these names were formulated. They seem a bit all over the place, but um, you know, to each their own. I do like that there's a bluey, purpley kind of sparkle to this one. I think that's nice. I'm using this Zoeva 238, and I'm going into, and I was so excited about this shade, but you'll, you'll see what I mean, soured. Look at that. It's, hello, are you there? Are you me, God? It's Teresa. Just looking for some pigment, right? I recently put up a video of some She Glam palettes that had a similar shade in it. Or all I'm saying is the She Glam was better. And once you attempt to blend, by the way, it just falls apart. Same brush again, and to try to cover that up like some sort of a church scandal. I'm going into the shade Milky. Right, this is kind of saving it somewhat, but not by much. It just, I mean, if I'm honest, I, I just, I think it's, and that was the bit that I was so excited about, because you know how I feel about greens? I was all like, yeah, greens. And this is really where it all starts to fall apart, like the first part, grand. This part, no. So now I have this Jessup 237 and I'm going into this pale blue shade. It's called Ocean Highs. This is a pretty decent pastel blue, I have to say. Um, now, you do have to like lamp it on there, like, you know, don't be shy. So what I'm doing then is just taking this Sigma E36. It is clean, I promise. I'm just going between the two of them and just blending. And they blend okay. Like, not amazingly, but not badly either, you know. But I will say you start to lose a little bit of that pigmentation from the blue. It starts to just kind of fade away. Get into Ocean Highs again and you can see how much of the pigment kind of faded away. I uh, attempt to put it back on. I'm taking the Jessup 237 again and I want to try the Cobalt Blue. It's called Blue Bells. So it goes on okay initially, you're like, oh, look at this. But I really struggled. Um, it went really patchy. And I found I had to like work it onto a wet base to actually get it to stick. But then it ended up being patchy on the other side. That's why I ended up having to put shimmer. It was a whole mess. I'm taking the Sigma E36 um, and just going back and forth there between them. And you start to see it does blend relatively okay, it's, but it does start to kind of lose an awful lot of its pigment. I do end up with like little patches where there's like very little shadow, like along here, you can see. I'm now just taking this Suva 350 and I'm going into the shade Angus. I'm just gonna pop that there. This is quite a patchy shade. Um, or at least from my experience of it. I just have this Juvia's Place brush and I'm going into that Angus colour again and just kind of go on in here. I'm attempting to blend between the two, but you'll kind of see it's tricky.
like even there I'm again having the blue coming off is really patchy and I'm not getting the full pigment of it and again I'm kind of having the same problem with the purple of like having patches up here which I'm like excuse me same brush again and I'm going into the shade pearl and I'm just popping that on the outside to blend it a bit more so that I don't have quite the harsh edge it helps it a little bit but you can see I still have like quite quite a harsh line it's just a really tricky shade to get to blend and even there I'm going to take the, the blue and, and, and the purple and try and take it on the one shade just to do a lot help a little bit sort of but not much to the point that now I've lost a big chunk of the blue that's great just super going into that dress up again and I, I need to go back into that blue because it's driving me nuts but that is just like a bold space and it's like skipped like like you can see almost where the brush has skipped and it just it doesn't doesn't look great I'm taking the Sigma E36 again and I want to just gently go there now I had a really really tricky issue actually trying to get it to blend at all on the other eye so what I did then was take the Sigma E36 and I went into the shade Claws. Cows don't have claws, Mitchell. I grew up on a farm. They don't have claws. She's like, they did. We wouldn't have ended up eating them. You know, they'd be like top of the food chain. Like maybe in an alternative universe they have clothes, but not in this one. This just kind of helped kind of ease the transition so that it wasn't quite as obvious that it was a crap blend. When in doubt, put a bit of shimmer on. You know, it'll hide a multitude of sins. Underneath there is a freshly concealed body. I'm taking the Juvia's Place brush again and this time I'm going into the shade Feline. Is it because the cats like milk? I mean, they're not meant to have milk, Mitchell. They're lactose intolerant. I know I have six cats. One of which, Louis, has like a massive like obsession with anything dairy. Even though we're like, you can't have this. And she's like, I don't care. You're not my real mum. I'm very upsetting, actually. I'm taking more of the blue and just popping it there just to try, try and help it. I'll do the same over here. Why not? In for a penny, in for a pound. And then I'm just taking this Morphe Jaclyn Hill. It's the JH39. It's fabulous. It's a really good brush. And I'm going into Grass Fit. I'm going to pop it there. And I'm just going to take a Cash Beauty brush. It's fabulous. It came as part of the colour trip thing. And I'm just going to go back and forward. So I'm going to feck off now and do the liner and the rest of my face. I am trying out one of the bronzers in hollow there and one of the newer brush or blushes in Posy Rosie, which I thought they already had, but I think this is one of the newer ones. Okay, so I'll try that and uh, I'll come back and show you what it all looks like together. Okay, that's the rest of the look done. I used the bronzer, I used the blush, and obviously I used uh, three of the liquid liners. So I'm gonna zoom you into the eyes now so you can have a look. So this is what it looked like at the end of the day. Um, it kind of blended okay-ish on this eye, but I really struggled with this eye. Um, yeah, I'll take the glasses off now so you can see. Like, you can kind of see it, it's tricky to even just get it to, to blend out. I spent a lot of time off camera by the way, trying to get that to blend and uh, it just, it wasn't working for me. So yeah. So let's have a little chat about each of the products. I will start off first with maybe the bronzer. So the liquid bronzer I got was in um, Hollow there. Do you know what? It's not bad. 
you know, it's a, it's a liquid bronzer. I think it was a good shade for me. It's quite light because I am a push to push to ghost. Um, I would give that probably a 9 out of 10. I think it's pretty good, you know. Um, I also got Posy Rosy. Man alive is this pigmented. I actually had to like kind of take it off and like put foundation over it again because it was just, it was too much. It was too much. I think these are really tricky to, like they're just too pigmented. I think with with blushes you shouldn't be quite as pigmented just just my opinion i would give that maybe a five out of ten um the liquid liners they're they're all right i think the standout is walk the lime that one is really really good i really liked that the rest i think the lilac one uh, it was okay and the blue was all right and i did try the pink and the yellow at another point and they're Okay, um, I would give them maybe a 6.5 out of 10. This I would give a 7.5 out of 10. I think like that's the walk the line one. I think that's much better. Let's talk about the palette. Ugh, I did not really enjoy this. The warm tones, like if you, no, I can't even say if you took it from here down because actually there's like the purples there and they did not blend very well. Um, the blue was patchy AF. This essentially has no pigment. Um, and then the weird neutrals in there that makes no sense. Eesh. Some highlights though that were good. The pale pink, I was really, really impressed with. That was great. Um, I thought this was quite a nice shimmer. That was, that was pretty good. The pale blue, also pretty good. Um, but all in all, does this warrant the price tag? Absolutely not. Um, it's not easy to work with. I think in general his stuff is quite overpriced. I wouldn't even recommend getting it on sale. I would give this a 4.5 out of 10. Just, it's not good. It's like, it's hard to work with. It just, it ain't great. Yeah, I would say a uh, uh, swerve, a void on that one. But that's it, that's the whole kit and caboodle. Do please like, comment and subscribe. Turn on that notification bell so you can see more videos of whatever is going on over here. Do please share, because sharing is caring. Unless, of course, it's an STD, in which case, you know, wrap it up. Don't be gross. But that's it, that's the end of the video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.